Shut up and sit down. Today on the Mullet of Ag podcast, we are getting that spring itch to get back into the field with this nice weather. We have a very, very special guest joining us from the social media and ag world. This woman is a powerhouse and, dare I say, living legend. When she speaks or tweets, everyone stops and listens because it's always mind-stimulating and pure. She made the 2020 year of compounding experiences look like a walk in the park. She is the director of PR and social for John Deere, Jen Hartman. All right. All right, Jan, have you had an introduction wow. like that before? I cannot wait to play that for my husband. <laughs> I'm just going to have that on repeat at the house. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, we try to go a little over the top. I don't know, something. We appreciate something you taking crazy. the time, so we try to make you feel special when you log on. Oh, so you we, did. Thank we you. first started talking about having Jen on, gosh, it was a long time ago, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, and never thought it would happen. You know, it was it was tough last year being asked to do any interviews outside of my job because so much was happening with my job. Yep. It's sometimes hard to differentiate. And I, I think when I you first reached out to me, um, I was just concerned about um, giving the impression that everything was great and fun and <laughs> lighthearted when, in fact, things really weren't right. I mean, right. Yeah. So well, I you sure did sure it. Just... You sure did a great job because you must be like a like a duck, you know, <laughs> calm on the surface and just swimming like crazy underneath. So, so let's yeah. let's start with that first, Jen. Can you uh, share with our listeners who maybe aren't familiar with you what your job is? Oh gosh, so I um, I started in my current role on March first of twenty twenty which I swear there's a book in here somewhere, but my predecessor, Ken Golden, was the head of PR for Deer for 21 years. And he retired on February 28th of last year. (laughs) And I frequently tell people this story. Um, You know, I have been at Deer for uh, just over a dozen years. Um, I have had dreams of being in this position, leading PR for deer since I was a college kid. And I had the opportunity to be in different communications roles for deer. I took on the lead social role a few years ago and reported to Ken um, before I was announced as, um, you know, the, the person who'd take his place. And we sat down on February 28th and I asked him, you know, hey, Ken, if there happens to be some significant crisis that faces the company sometime down the road. Would it be okay if I reached out to you? I mean, fe- that we- <laughs> yeah. Did he say yes? He didn't. <laughs> he said no. And I, you know, in looking back, I continue to thank him actually for it. Number one, I think he, he really genuinely wanted me to stand on my own. And he wanted to make sure that I didn't lean on him in the event there was a crisis. He trusted me to manage it. Um, And I will tell you when the pandemic really started, you know, coming to reality um, and started impacting our business there in mid-March, I was grateful that I didn't have him to lean on because I very quickly had to just step in and make decisions. So you're saying he didn't have the crystal ball and knew that all of a sudden the world was going to fall apart and just said no for that reason. That, oh my gosh, right? It, 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 was, a, it was an astute decision on his part to say no, yes, and a blessing for me in the end. That's so crazy to think. February 28th, last year you were sitting there and he told you no, and you just asked him a question that you probably weren't even thinking, like, the pandemic, you know, the, you know, I, I've been at the company for 12 years at that point, maybe 11 years at that point. And, you know, we have events that happen right at yeah. factories or units, whether it's a natural disaster or a significant injury. Um, but to face uh, a worldwide pandemic that impacted over 70 units globally, um, that was beyond anything. I don't, think any of us could have ever imagined 